Hey everybody, here's your August 2022 real estate market update for the city of Edmonton. So things are starting to what I would consider be a normal real estate market. And this is fine, this is okay, this is no time to panic if you're a seller. It's a little bit of better news if you're a buyer. Uh, we're sort of entering a nice balanced market, which, which is good. It's, it's never good if it's too far swayed in one direction or the other between the buyer and the seller. So here's a few stats for you, then I'll kind of give you my two cents on what I think that means, right? So single family homes, uh, we're just going to eliminate condos for a second, but single family homes in the city of Edmonton have an average sale price right now of $510,000. Now that is actually up. 7.1% from this time last year. There's a bit of an asterisk with that though, as we just had a $5 million house sell and there was a couple like in the 2 million, high 2 million mark. So you eliminate those ones, which are not normal, that, that average price is gonna come down a little bit. So we're probably a few percentage points up from where we were last year in reality, if you eliminate those crazy high sales uh, that happened this month, but still like, if you, if you look at the headlines for the Canadian real estate market, which is a joke, it doesn't really exist. It's very regional. Um, you know, interest rates are, are climbing, prices are plummeting, the real estate markets in Vancouver and Toronto are crashing, all that stuff. I don't care about any of that stuff, nor should you if you live around here. Um, does it have an impact on us? Like, not really. You know what I mean? Um, now, interest rates and inventory and supply and demand, yeah, those will have an impact on us. But the headlines when they're talking about Toronto and the lower mainland and BC, it does not matter. The reality is our home prices are still worth more today than they were a year ago. And it's certainly more than two, three, four years back, right? Um, we've had about 12,000 sales this year. Now, the sales are down, right? So the prices are still climbing a little bit, but the number of homes selling is down. So we're down about 10.4% from this time last year. Um, inventory is up 6% from this time last year. So that means that there are more homes available uh, for, for sale. Now, this is what I mean by starting to become a little bit more of a balanced market. If we go from like April backwards about a year, um, it was a really, really heavy seller's market. So that means that if you're a buyer, there's very little to choose from. You had to act very quickly. You often were in multiple offer situations paying over list price, right? That's a really heavy seller's market. Um, we're starting to be more balanced now. Okay, so buyers, there's still not a ton to choose from, uh, but there's a fair amount where you can actually plan to go out and look at houses on a certain day instead of having to go at the drop of a hat the second something gets listed, right? This is normal. This is okay. We don't need to compare it to the crazy highs of the market. We don't need to compare it to the crazy lows of the market either. We're sort of right in the middle. So it's a nice spot to be in uh, still if you're a seller and if you're a buyer, you're still okay too because there's... You have some more options. You don't need to be under the gun um, so much. Okay, uh, days on market, it's relatively the same. It's just over a month. I think we're a two day difference uh, from this time last year. Um, so overall, it's, it's in my opinion, as a realtor, it's a real nice spot to be in. It's not insane. I, I like a nice balanced market. It's, it's pretty good as a realtor. And if you're a home buyer or home seller, it's kind of the perfect storm to be in, right? Where if you're a home seller, yeah, it would be better if your home would sell in six minutes for 40 grand over list price, sure. Um, but it's still at a point where your home still will sell in a relatively short amount of time. You know, one to two months, you're gonna get a fair amount of showings, right? As long as you're priced effectively, as long as you have a strategy and, and somebody behind you that is good at marketing the home for sale, you'll be all right. And like I said, I already kind of talked about the buyers and how it is for the buyers. So, I think we're in a really good spot here. I see this continuing really for the balance of the year. I don't know what interest rates are going to do. They'll probably get a little bit worse before they get better again, but I don't know. And uh, that will have an impact on the market, but everything takes a while to trickle down, right? As interest rates keep keeps climbing, people's affordability change, and that will eventually have a trickle down effect on the real estate market. So what you could see is condos can start having a, a bigger revival than they already have right now. Uh, townhouses, duplexes, uh, homes that are in the three and the four hundred thousand dollars instead of the fives and the six hundred thousand dollars, those could start to become very, very popular and start moving very, very quickly, right? So it all depends on, on what happens and how much they increase and for how long, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But there's my little two cents on what's going on in the real estate market right now. There's a few stats for you, and uh, that five million dollar house was right on, on Saskatchewan Drive, and it was it was something else. So it was pretty cool, pretty cool sale. Uh, I think Ian Robertson was the listing agent and Michael Pavone was the buyer's agent on that. So 
congrats to you guys on, on a wicked sale. And if anybody wants to go check it out, um, please do. I'm sure you can find uh, many articles about it and things like that. Five million bucks at Edmonton gets you a lot of house. So anyways, hope everybody's having a great day. If you ever have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Be happy to chat with you about anything uh, that you want to know about. All right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.